everybody, I am Icy Bucket Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new tribes update, but mostly the new hero, Dr. Kaven. His first ability is the Crystal Critters. When you use this ability, he spawns critters that heal your troops. They only last for a certain time because that kind of be a little overpowered if they didn't have a time limit on them. Second ability is the ice shields. Probably my least favorite. If you have Zookas that are about to be get hit by a high level rocket launcher, it'll be good for that. My favorite is second win. It temporarily revives fo fallen troops. This casualties are revived first. But it has a certain capacity, so if your troop is over the capacity, it will spawn riflemen instead. That also happens if you, none of your troops have fallen. This space was pretty tough. HQ 18 player. Hot pot. Shock launcher. How do you split to get around the shock launcher? Then get to the back. I ended up losing all my troops. But Everspark saved the day. I need to get back here to get some gunboat energy and take out some of the snipers. Got a bunch of DBE able to barrage. Speed it up a little bit. Didn't have a lot of heavies left. And those two flamethrowers and machine gun really hurt me. If those rockets hadn't been there, I think I would have ended up with two Zookas being alive. I also had some critters over there that helped me get Gumbo Energy and damage the HQ a little bit. Unfortunately, the medics were not behind Ever Spark, so they were targeted first.
Barely. When you revive troops, they will look like that. Be purple. Unfortunately, if <laughs> let's say the tank was destroyed and you revive that one tank, it wouldn't come back on a landing craft, unfortunately. Now it's a pretty easy base. I still like Captain Everspark better than I like Dr. Caven. But he's better than Brick. Also in this update, they nerfed machine guns. So critters and warriors can get inside the little blind zone. This base was pretty easy. You hit the two boom cannons inside the trees and the rocket. This was probably in the imitation game because most people don't see the boom cannons back there. But if you're using tanks and medics or heavy zookas, anything with zookas or tanks in it, you pretty much was we're gonna win. You didn't need to destroy that, just didn't know where the range of it ended. That's it from there. Stage four is Semi hard. Shock on you. You don't have the 
HQ back there. I think the shock launcher should have been moved back some so I can hit right right in right where the sniper is. Before I retreat, if I can, I like to flare back closer to my landing craft. Just because sometimes they end up getting hit by my, the mines, they run over mines or the fences and hit them when they retreat because they try to go as close as they can, shortest way. Let's forward a little bit here. My first attack, I just destroyed some stuff to get rid of those two boom cans and a couple of defenses. almost hit my tanks and went for the critters instead. I think they could have hit that one medic. No. Couldn't have. This one I use Smoky Warrior. Just getting the one spot, then flaring back. The rocket launcher took s maybe this took some of my warriors with lower health out. Pretty close. Also in the new update, you will find black guard bases made by players. I haven't found one yet, but I know some people who have. That was a pretty easy base. Let's go home. Dr. T says one is always pretty easy. This one I just use Dr. Caden's third ability and medics. The medics do heal the revived troops, which is awesome. Watch over from there.
probably gonna do two more attacks just to show you the other abilities of Dr. Caven. All of them have shields now. Shields, so I have a lot of health. I think maybe 160 at level 1. I think they're more meant for Zookas. But we get hit by maybe rockets or maybe mortars, cannons, you know. This is also good for your troops low on health and the medics aren't healing it fast enough you put up the shield. Use it one more time. The shields also have a timer, unfortunately. Eight seconds I think for level one. There we go. I'm gonna make another masterpiece. Just need a one more. I can beat that. I'm going to show you the crystal critters in this attack. Hmm. 